yes, yes, everybody who's on the West End Network. Hope you are all safe and well. Hope you hope you you're falling into your Monday okay. A bit, a bit of rain this week. We need it, don't we? We need it. We need it. We need it. We do need it. We need it for the grass. Well, I've got Asher Turf, doesn't matter. Um, West Hammers Headlines and Association with a KUMB.com, boys. Not one, not two, not three, but quattro stories today. We are spoiling you as per usual. Um, let's start with some, well, they're all transfer rumors anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to make the Declan Rice free zone, but it's not working. Anyway, um, let's talk about Sanderberg. Sanderberg. Apparently, West Ham have might have the chance to sign the Sheffield United midfielder this summer, but it's very complicated as per usual when it comes to West Ham. According to the Star, a third party has approached West Ham and asked whether the opportunity to sign Sanderberg from Sheffield United would be of interest to them. Now, it is made clear that this person is not connected to either the Blades or the 25-year-old representative. Some bloke has phoned up. So quite what this has to do with Sanderberg is the mystery at the moment. The East London side tried to sign the Norwegian midfielder back in 2020. might have been January 2020. But he ended up at Bramall Lane for a club record £22 million. And he's been very good for them. Um, now, it's recently claimed that Sheffield United won around £35 million for him, which, to be honest, is decent value, I think, for a player and decent value for the Hammers as well. But would the Blades really let him join a Premier League rival ahead of the new season? Well, the article in the Star claims that the Norwegian midfielder has bizarrely been offered by to West Ham by a third party, someone who's nothing to do with it. So who knows how this one will play out? It's got Carlos Tevez written all over it, isn't it? Um, I mean, I must say, if we were offered him, I I think he's a great player. Tenacious, loads of energy, um, a real threat, you know, definitely upgrade from a Thomas Suchek, for example. Um, and I think I think last year he got six goals, five assists in 37 championship games. Uh, 35 million quid. I think that's sort of the going. I think, you know, 40 is about seems to be the going rate for a half decent midfielder at the moment. So, look... <laughs> Some blokes phoned up. Do you want Sanderberg? I've got nothing. To say. Some random intermediary. I love it. Absolutely love it. Typical. Um, another guy we're, we're linked with um, over the weekend is a guy I'm very excited about. I'm a big fan of Willie. Big fan of Willie. Apparently, West Ham wants to sign Leeds winger Willie Notto as interest in the Italian uh, heats up, according to the Mirror. It's believed a host of Premier League clubs are chasing the 19-year-old winger, who was one of their Leeds' standout performers last season. Obviously, they were relegated. Uh, apparently, Crystal Palace, Everton and Brighton have all showed interest along with the Hammers. I mean, I think this guy is mustard and he's 19. I was gutted that we missed out on him and he went to Leeds at the time. And he's proven to be... A really, really good player. 19, he's got his whole life ahead of him in terms of his career. And he's got, he could, I mean, he's a winger. No more is he converting for a striker anyway. But regardless of that, um, he's apparently down for £30 million as a price tag. Um, and would definitely be a long-term project for any side who takes him. Um, he could develop into a, a huge asset for someone for us at London Stadium, for example. You know, much like a, a Boeing Saeed Ben Rahm have done since moving to the club. Furthermore, another winger could certainly be on the agenda for Moyes anyway, particularly, you know, with the possibility of maybe then Ben Rahm moving into a 10 slot or just having some extra competition there for, particularly for Bowen on the right hand side. Um, it's one of the areas I think we really need to strengthen. Um, so, you know, options are, are quite few for a few and far between at the moment. It seems we're linked with loads of central and defensive midfielders, obviously, um, because he should not be named is that saga. Um, but not necessarily wingers and things like that. We were linked, you know, recently for the likes of um, Hivering uh, Lozano. We get linked to another one as well today, but not as many compared to the midfield options. So, look, I think it'd be brilliant and I'd love him. Absolutely, I think he'd be. At, he'd he just he's a type of player. He just gets you off your seat. So direct, quick feet, and fearless. And I think he's a type of player West Ham fans would really, really sort of take to their take to their hearts. Um, another player who's uh, who another winger we've been linked to, as I said, is the Juventus winger um, Samuel Samuel Illing Junior. Um, according to Tuto Juve, West Ham, Everton and Fulham are all interested in signing the um, 
the, the Juventus wing in the summer transfer window. The Italian news outlet claims that Juventus could receive a bid of around £25 million from clubs in the Premier League for the English-born winger. Everton has said Fulham and West Ham could bid for that. He's 19, he's an under-20 international England international. England international events have got a lot of financial issues at the moment. So, you know, 25 million for a 19 year old could be very tempting to them. Um, it's he isn't a regular in the first team, that's for sure. Last season, he made just one start, 11 substitution appearances in Serie A. He scored a goal, one assist in the process. Um, he's also he played in the Champions League last year, one start and three sub appearances. Um, in the um, so yeah, in the Europa League as well. Um, and as I said, England is under 20 international, could be tempted to come back home, could be tempted to come back to the Premier League, maybe. Um, and uh, and come to maybe come to East London, who knows? Um, but he sort of fits that. It's you know, we, we spoke about Ali Wayina from uh, Torino and lots of players who t- tend to go abroad to get game time and then come back. And maybe it's Samuel's time. Maybe it's his time. Who knows? Someone who, another person who hopes it's his time is the sort of util, utility player, uh, Ashley Nate, Maitland Niles. Apparently, West Ham are working intensively to sign him on a free transfer after he was recently released by Arsenal and not on their retained list. And that's according to football transfers. The six time England international spent last season on loan at Southampton, where obviously they were relegated, although he was one of the better performances during, during his time there. He's got a lot of experience. He's very flexible um, in terms of we've seen how several clubs throughout sort of his time in terms of going on loan have used him in different positions. And apparently a number of cl- clubs are interested in getting his signature, according to a new report that was published on Sunday. Um, West Ham, one of the clubs working to sign him. We all know Moisey loves a versatile player and he is that type of player. He can play right back he can play central midfield he can play cdm he can play on the wing um and a free signing for someone who could plug in several different positions in the squad for a minimum cost it seems a bit of a no-brainer in all honesty um no transfer fee would obviously mean higher wages potentially and we could afford a good wage packet for him his experience of playing international football champions league europa league with arsenal will no doubt be a positive thing for west ham as well um he he would be unlikely to be a first choice in any of the, any of his actual positions, but that isn't a bad thing because he would be a very good squad player, I think, um, and something that I know Moyes would like in terms of having that sort of diversity in terms of and flexibility in terms of positions he can play. It's just interesting to note that he's obviously un, he, he's won several several players we under consideration, and um, you know if a deal was on the guess a deal on the cards, then yeah, I don't think that's a too shabby. Free transfer, really. Um, and I was going to show you. So I mentioned it in the morning, but look, this is this is where we're up to now. This is where we're up to. So all these players move, move the logo. So this is this is the current list of players we've been linked with so far. I believe it's sixty two, four, six, eight, seven. It's about seventy two players already. I'm sure there's a few there. And if I've missed anyone, let me know in the comments, and I'll add them to the list. But um, yeah, around seventy odd players we've been linked with already, which is absolutely radio rental. And that's it, my friends. Thank you very very much for your time. As always, hope you have a lovely evening. Uh, make sure you keep, keep an eye on the channel. Any breaking news, we try to bring to. As soon as humanly possible. And we're back tomorrow with all the fun and fun of the fair again with more transfer news and all that reviews and that type of thing. So take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble, and we'll see you guys soon. Come on, you irons.